I know that you really like to use the whiteboard on Zoom, just like you like to use in my office. So I was thinking we could try to keep things the same. And I'm going to share my screen with you and we can do our feeling check-in with the whiteboard. As learning moves online, so is therapy. It's an adjustment for the kids. It's an adjustment for the parents. Um, the days are long. We're confined to being home. So, um, but it's... It's been okay. okay. April Islam's children usually see their behavioral therapist at school. With schools closed down, therapists are getting creative with how they interact with students from home. The last few sessions have went well, um, but when a problem did arise, she was there. It's kind of like, it was very convenient to, to be accessible to her and her to me as well. We're able to support in that moment with the whole family unit in a place where they are most comfortable. Social workers like Darian Mankata use screen sharing techniques to allow students to write on virtual whiteboards. Really continuing to do the same exact work that we do in the schools, but now through a, a video chat form and in our homes. On top of regular sessions, Darianne says she's able to give advice to families who are now constantly at home. She says to take little breaks throughout the day and to find creative ways of learning. There's been a lot of people kind of jumping up and giving like even just like yoga videos or um, drawing videos or I know Mystic Aquarium was doing some events. So breaking up their day with with stuff like that. Darianne says in the future, telehealth sessions will be helpful for families who need an emergency appointment or who need some extra time. Taylor DiCello, Fox 61 News.